Hello everyone today we are going to learn the histology of the retina i welcome you all to this short video clip describing the histological features of retina earlier we have learned that the eyeball consists of three layers or three coats the outer fibrous coat the middle vascular coat and the inner nervous coat and today the cellular architecture of the inner nervous cord that is the retina we are going to learn in detail retina is quite special because retina consists of the visual receptor cells the rods and cones the retina is also called as neuronal layer because of plenty of neurons and this retinal layer will continue as the optic nerve carrying the visual sensations or visual impulses Histologically, retina is made up of various types of cells and coat several cellular layers. Let us learn these cellular layers from external aspect inwards. Outermost layer is pigment epithelium, followed by layers of rods and cones, external limiting membrane, external nuclear layer, external plexiform layer, inner nuclear layer. then inner plexiform layer ganglion cell layer layer of optic nerve fiber internal limiting membrane these are the layers to be learned in detail let us analyze one by one the first and outermost layer of the retina is pigment epithelium and this layer is made up of low cuboidal cells the apices of these low cuboidal cells are showing long apical processes and these cells contains melanin pigments that's why called as pigmented epithelium there are two functions for this epithelium number 1 absorption of the light number 2 phagocytosis of the tip of rods and cone cells second layer is layer of rods and cones this layer is just inner to the outer pigmented layer so this second layer consists of outer segments of rods and cone cells these processes of rod cells are cylindrical and that of cone cells are cone shaped and this layer is photoreceptor in function they can receive the light rays and that can be converted into the nerve impulse form that is the photoreception next layer is outer limiting membrane this layer is located between second and third layer and here we can see zonula adherence of the glial cells or these glial cells are also called as muller cells so these muller cells are forming the zonula adherence with that of photoreceptor cells muller cells are large supporting cells of the retina they have long slender body that is radially oriented in the retina next layer is outer nuclear layer so this layer consists of the nuclei of rods and cone cells that's why this layer will be darkly staining in the second layer we have seen only the outer segments of the rods and cones but in this layer we have we can see the nuclei of rods and cone cells next to learn is outer plexiform layer and this layer is comparatively light staining and here you can see multiple synapses and these synapses are between the rods and cones with the dendritic process of bipolar cells and also another types of cells are the horizontal cells all these cells synapses at this layer that means rods and cones dendritic process of bipolar cells and horizontal cells next layer is inner nuclear layer so as the name suggest you here consists of several nuclei these are the nuclei of bipolar cells horizontal cells muller cells and also amacrine cells the bipolar cells their peripheral process synapses with the photoreceptor cells that is with rods and cone cells and inner process or the central process synapses with ganglion cells amacrine cells are situated in the inner portion of this layer 
and synapses with bipolar cells and also with the ganglion cells. Next is inner plexiform layers. In this layer, the axons of bipolar cells synapses with dendrites of ganglion cells and amacrine cells. The next layer to learn is ganglion cell layer. So here we can see cell bodies or the soma and nuclei of large multipolar neurons and these multipolar neurons are called as ganglion cells. These cells receive the visual inputs from the bipolar cells and their axons forms optic nerve. The axons of these ganglion cells are gathering together and forming the optic nerve. So next layer is layer of optic nerve fibers. This layer is formed by the collection of axons of ganglion cells. All the axons of the ganglion cells gather together to form this optic nerve. The last layer is inner limiting membrane layer. So this is also formed by the Muller cells or the glial cells. This inner limiting membrane separates this retina from the vitreous chamber that is from the vitreous tumor. From these three pictures, you can compare all the three pictures and you can learn all the layers of the retina. The first one is original histological slide photo. Second one is the hand-drawn Chani pencil drawn picture. And the third one already we use for explaining all the layers in details. Now, at the end, let us discuss some clinical conditions which are related to the retina. Number one, retinoblastoma. So this is one of the malignant tumor that can happen to the retina and this is usually seen in the children and can be recognized before the age of 4 itself. Second condition is retinitis pigmentosa. This condition is characterized by degeneration of retinal pigment epithelium that is the outermost pigmented epithelial layer and here the clinical finding or clinical feature is night blindness. This is due to loss of rods and progresses gradually into a condition of total blindness. Thank you for watching this short video clip. Please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon.